Hi friends, Rev. Janet Jones from High Country United Church, offering you worship this morning on this Palm Sunday. Let us begin by acknowledging the land that we worship on. Today we find ourselves in many different places, in many different areas, so different tribes and nations have cared for the land that all of us are residing, working, and playing on. And so we respect that and give our thanks. Let us sing our blessing through twice. Humbly we walk here, humbly we pray here, humbly we bless this ground. Humbly we walk here, humbly we pray here, humbly we bless this ground. So I want to say welcome. Um, I'd tell you where the bathrooms are, but hopefully you know where they are in your own home. There aren't too many announcements going on. I just want to remind you that um, our church is closed. Uh, we are listed as not essential, and so we're doing church in a different way. Um, find us on social media, so Facebook and YouTube, and uh, all the links to videos are on our website as well. For those who are unsure of how to connect on social media in any way, we have a new formed... Uh, FAQ page on our website that might be able to guide you a little bit. If you have any questions at all, be in touch. We can try our best to help you. So this week, we invite you to join us on Facebook and YouTube as we walk through Holy Week on social media. And I'll do my best to try to connect with people who aren't on social media in some way. And if not, you'll get it in the next week's video. Uh, DVD collection. Just a reminder for those who are unable to access internet in some way or do wish not to, um, you can request a DVD of our This Week at High Country United Church online. Just have to ask and we'll have it available. Next Sunday is Easter and so I hope you're getting your chocolate um, and I hope you celebrate with us. It's going to be a very different Easter this year and so it is my hope and prayer that you'll celebrate with us from wherever you are and you'll share your Easter celebrations in some way with us as well. Friends, as we begin our worship, uh, we are reminded that there was once someone who lived long ago, who did amazing things, who said incredible things that people followed him. And as they followed him, they wondered just who he was. And so one day they were so bold as to ask him. And he said, I am the light. Let us join Evelyn in our call to worship. Mighty God, you welcome us into your kingdom as honored guests. You, you give, give us water to wash our feet. You, you give, give us, us a kiss, kiss of greeting, greeting and you anoint our heads with oil. Merciful God, you welcome us even though we are less than perfect. You forgive, forgive our, our debts and, and give us a seat at your table. Wondrous God, we have come here to give you our worship and praise. May we May make, we make a joyful <laughs> noise at your table. And so friends, let us sing together, Hosanna, loud Hosanna. And thank you to my friend for recording the music again for us.
let us pray together. Loving Creator, we come before you with a spirit of thanksgiving in our hearts. We give you thanks for all that we have and for all that we are. Thank you for creating us and gifting us with life. We take a moment of silence to give to you the things that may keep us distance from, distant from you, O oh God. Oh, Holy One, we thank you for your mercy, your grace, your compassion, and for your forgiveness of the things that we do in our lives that are less than perfect. Continue to help us, guide us, nudge us with your spirit, with the life of Jesus in our hearts that we can do better in this world. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Today's scripture comes from Virginia. Let us listen in. Country United Church, it's a pleasure to be with you to help read the scriptures this morning. I'm coming to you from beautiful Vancouver Island, British Columbia. Our scripture reading this morning comes from Mark, chapter 11, verses 1 through 10. Let us listen with our whole hearts. Entering Jerusalem on a colt. When they were nearing Jerusalem at Bethage and Bethany on Mount Olives, he sent off two of his disciples with the instructions, go to the village across from you. As soon as you enter, you will find a colt tethered, one that has never been ridden. Untie it and bring it. If anyone asks, what are you doing? Say, the master needs it and will return it later. It right away. They went and found the colt tied to a door at the street corner and untied it. Some of those standing said, what are you doing untying that colt? The disciples replied exactly as Jesus had instructed them and the people let them be. They brought the colt to Jesus and spread their coats on it and he mounted. The people gave him a wonderful welcome Throwing their coats on the street, others spread their rushes they had cut from the fields. Running ahead and falling after, they were calling out, Hosanna! Blessed is he who comes in God's name. Blessed the coming king of our father David. Hosanna in the highest heaven. Hear what the Spirit is saying to the church. Thanks be to God. Thanks, Virginia. And let us pray. God of great things in our world, we thank you for the word, for the story of Jesus riding in on a donkey and people spreading palms all around. God, as we listen to this short message, may you be in our hearts and in our minds and in our souls, and may we hear a word from you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. What I like about the story of Jesus riding in on a donkey is um, the piece I want to focus on today is about the humility in some ways. Jesus could have been on a great great ride that kind of held great esteem and pride but that really wasn't who Jesus was Jesus was one who told disciples like only take the clothes on your back wipe the sandals of your feet these kind of things and the best part is that it didn't matter how Jesus arrived people knew who he was they knew how powerful, how meaningful, how different he was. 
and likely because it spread word of, by word of mouth. Maybe they witnessed things. Maybe they witnessed his teachings. And in this time of COVID-19, what I like to think about is Jesus riding in on a donkey and he's not wearing a cape and he's not this big kadoo. He doesn't have music, Myers, things happening all around him, but he's just riding in and people are like, let me show you how much we admire you and respect you and we know that you are bigger uh, than the kings of this land. And we have people in our community kind of doing the same right now. Not necessarily the same, they're not Jesus. <laughs> but what I'm saying is, they're doing their humble jobs that are saving lives, that are keeping us alive, that are guiding us on this path, navigating, helping us navigate what to do, where to go, who to be, how to be. And we need to celebrate them by waving palms, by singing our praises of thanks because we're not all called to be Jesus. We're not all called to be doctors or nurses or sewers or knitters or grocery store clerks or mechanics or, oh my goodness, factory workers right now. Oh my goodness, construction workers. So many people still deemed essential that are keeping our economy going, that are keeping our our lives flowing. And there are so many people doing it in ways we don't even hear about. Jesus was just coming in on a donkey. Just come into town. And people, they knew who he was. They knew what he was. And so I thank our first responders locally and around the world who are doing, in essence, a prom procession, giving thanks to all in our community who are working hard. I think there are so many more people to thank. And if you're one of them and you don't hear it, but you know you're doing the hard work, thank you. Not only on behalf of me, but on behalf of our community. Because as Chris at Parsons Floors donated <laughs> the palms for us today, uh, I like what she posed, life as normal as possible. In a time of chaos, in a time of great upheaval, it is nice to have a little norm. So friends, let us celebrate the norm, but celebrate the amazing things everyone is doing in this time. May we be humble with ourselves. May we be humble to ourselves. Pray with me. O oh, gracious and loving God, we thank you for Jesus as our teacher for the ability to sing praises and giving thanks and for following him and learning and growing and challenging ourselves just to be somewhat like him. But God, be in us and around us as we, as we go into this holy week. But today, let us celebrate. Let us celebrate in our own way, Jesus in our lives, how Jesus entered in our lives. May we sing a song to God, to spirit, to Jesus, just to say we recognize who and what you are for us in the world. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Friends, at this time we are going to share communion together. And so if you 
at home, have your bread and your juice or whatever elements you decided on. No judgment today, it's a, a little different. Remembering that when we get together our first time back, I promise there will be a communion celebration like no other. But just to keep some norm, let's bring Jesus into our lives. And so, um, we're gonna sing together, let us break bread together. I'm not sure if we've really done this in church in the time that I've been here, but uh, I love this song. And so let us sing it together. That was <laughs> so good. All right, friends, join with me. The Lord be with you and also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift our hearts to God. Let us give thanks to God. It is right to give our thanks and praise. We offer you, O oh God, our worship through Jesus Christ, your Son, who comes to us humbly riding on a donkey. And so let us sing a communion response. 
are our responses and I'll help you through. On the evening before his death, Jesus shared a meal with his friends mm. and he took bread from the table, gave thanks, and broke it and said, this is my body broken for you. Remember me whenever you eat. After the meal, he took the cup of wine. Mm. He gave thanks. And he offered it to them, saying, This is my blood poured out for you. Remember me whenever you drink. O oh Lord, we eat and drink in memory of Jesus, remembering his great love, his teaching, his mission of equity and justice. Bless the food we eat and the fluids we drink from wherever we are in whatever space we are in. In this simple meal, O oh God, we proclaim Jesus' death and resurrection, giving life to all people. And let us sing. Sing, Christ has died, and Christ is risen, and Christ will come again. Sing, Christ has died, and Christ is risen, and Christ will come again. Friends, I'm sure at a table <laughs> with 13 people, they shared communion in different ways with different needs. And so today, as we share communion, I invite you to dip whatever um, solid food you have into your liquid as a sign of intinction, or to eat and then to drink your preference. the bread of life given for all. of blessing, not only to remember him, but to know that we are remembered. Mm. And let us pray together. Thank you, Jesus, for coming to us once again through this simple meal, for nourishing our bodies and our souls, and for filling us with hope. Continue to be with us in all the days of our lives. Let us sing. Amen, amen, O oh Holy One, Hosanna, and amen. Amen.
uh, this time we think of our offering, not just to the church, but to the wider world, know that we will post our Minute for Mission on our various <laughs> forms of media, so you can understand that uh, your donations that go to the church don't just go to High Country United Church, but we donate uh, tens of thousands to organizations in our community and around the world. And uh, Mission and Service is another part of that, which serves the world globally and the church nationally. And so we give thanks for those who are donating. And we also know these are hard times, so if you can't donate, just spread joy. That's a gift in itself. And so, my friends, let us sing to the tune of, well, the regular tune. Love is something to be spread around, not to be hidden, but to always be found. God, thank you for your love in us. God bless our gifts and God bless us. Friends, let us pray together. We think of people around the world, people close to us, strangers, friends, foes. And so let us pray. God of all, on this Palm Sunday, we think of many churches around the world that are unable to gather. And so we celebrate, hmm, we celebrate, oh God, that you're helping us not be complacent in our faith and in our understanding of church. Continue to be with us in technology discerning safe measures of being together. And at this time we pray for friends and family near and far. For Elva, Nancy and Paul, Bill and Isabel, Matthew, Michelle, Winnie and Joan, Betty Lou, Gerd and Mylena and the Gillette family, Aaron, Mary and Christine, Sean and his family, Sylvia, Marilyn, Bonner and Steve, Debbie, Evelyn and Luke, and Doug, Matt, Andrew, and our Manzerol family. God, we also think of those who are currently in hospital or even at home who have the virus and ask that your comfort and embrace be with them. That if healing may be so, God, may they heal fast. Be with our doctors and nurses all over, shielding them from the virus. Be with all who are working and may only kindness and compassion and grace come their way in the form of customers and clients. Lord, be in all people, O oh God that we can learn to stay home and stay safe so the virus will stop spreading. We pray for our politicians and world leaders everywhere, that they can come together and find a way to enforce, enforce us from staying out there and spreading the virus. Oh God of all, there's so much more to pray for in our world, for our friends who are grieving, for our friends who are going through treatments, for our friends that are just waiting for specialist appointments that might be on hold. 
for our friends who are just waiting for whatever, oh God. In the silence of our hearts, oh God, we give you the prayers that weigh on us this day that are left unnamed. Gracious God, thank you for walking with us, for helping us to remain connected to our church and to our communities, and for helping us to learn how to rest a little more in these times. Help us be graceful with each other and ourselves as we navigate working from home and home things as we struggle with going on EI and not being able to do anything. Help us to find purpose in our boredom, oh God. But we thank you that you are always with us. We pray this together saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. And give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Friends, let us sing together, Fairest Lord Jesus. Oop. Let's try that again. <laughs>
you be okay staying home. And may you be okay reaching out to others, knowing that the way we connect is the way we serve God. May you know that you're alone but not lonely with the love of God and all God's people and the people up at High Country United Church in your hearts. Amen. All right, let's find a starting note. Send us out in the past.